Now we can use PineGrow and Visual Studio Code together. And after we install the PineGrow plugin for Visual Studio Code, we just open same files in PineGrow and in Visual Studio. And then whatever changes we do, are immediately reflected in both apps. So like here I'm doing the change in, in the code editor and without saving anything, all the changes are visible in PineGrow and it works the other way around as well. Whatever we do in PineGrow is immediately visible in the code editor and when we select the element in PineGrow it gets highlighted in Visual Studio Code and we also have the option to control PineGrow from within Visual Studio so for example we can select element by right clicking and then here we have and it gets selected in PineGrow and we can also refresh the page in PineGrow and also if we have a page that it's not yet open in PineGrow and we are editing it in Visual Studio Code we can just again right click and say open file and this will open this file in PineGrow and again all the edits will be synced between the two apps. And this works for HTML pages and also for style sheets, either plain CSS or also SAS or less source files. And again, we can just go here and uh, edit our page. And again, all the changes are visible in PineGrow as well, without saving any files first. And to get this integration to work, first we have to install the Visual Studio Code plugin for PineGrow. So we go to extensions, and then the easiest way is to search for PineGrow. Here it is, and then we say install. And if necessary, reload uh, the Visual Studio Code. And if you are using default settings for PineGrow's internal web server, then there is nothing else to do. But if you specified uh, a different port number uh, here in PineGrow settings, then we have to tell Visual Studio Code, uh, this address. And the easiest way is to go to support and show up URL. And we just copy this value. And then here in Visual Studio, we go to preferences, settings. Then we have to find the settings. So just search for PineGrow and here it is URL with port so we just edit or enter the same setting that we got in PineGrow so it's very simple to use and this combination of PineGrow and a professional code editor like Visual Studio Code really creates a very powerful development environment for the web.